This is a school field trip of a very different kind. Instead of visiting a museum, these students board a heavy cargo freighter in Hamburg. It's an important visit for the students as they work toward their high school diploma with a nautical focus. And for that, they need experience on the command bridge, looking over the shoulder of the ship's officer. Some of them have already completed an internship on board. Others need an introduction to navigation on the high seas. The 16 to 18 year olds get a rare glimpse of a potential career. I think it's fascinating. This isn't something you get to do every day. To see how it's all tied up, how things are brought on board, to see a ship from close up. Have you been on a ship before? Yes, a container ship in Shanghai. This is the school they attend in Bremen. The 43 students work in very small groups and can choose courses otherwise considered university level. For example, here they can study international law. Fees for the school run between 30 and 580 euros a month, depending on parental income. In return, conditions for learning are ideal, with one-on-one -on -one supervision. I don't have a rigid timetable. I have some appointments, but I can choose who I work with, when I work, and how much time I devote to certain topics. Plus, I have my supervisor who keeps an eye on everything and makes sure I don't neglect subjects like math. The options are many for the young nautical students, from learning Chinese to doing a work placement. It doesn't come cheap, but most of the school's expenses are covered by Beluga shipping. It does cost a lot of money. It costs about a million euros a year to operate the school. But I think the investment will pay off over time, because our highly skilled people will enable us to sail our ships effectively across the seven seas entsprechend über die sieben Weltmeere zu fahren. None of the current pupils has decided yet to pursue a career in shipping. For now, they're benefiting from personal tutoring and their state-of-the-art office, which has its own computers and phone lines. They all share an interest in international shipping, but it remains a subject of study, not a job. Once they have their diplomas, that could change fast. We'll probably approach the students who have done especially well in particular areas and ask them if they'd like to work for our sponsor company. But that's completely up to the students. If someone wants to become a priest or a doctor instead, no one's going to stop them. A million euros a year for an in-house high school. Next year will tell whether the investment pays off for the shipping company. That's when the first class will graduate and decide whether they want to move from the roll call to Beluga's payroll.